In this video I'm going to show you how to install WordPress onto your website. Probably the easiest way to do it is if you have cPanel and Fantastico then all it takes is just a few mouse clicks. First thing to do is to log in to your control panel and scroll down to the bottom where it says Fantastico Deluxe or on some cPanels it might just say Fantastico. Click on the link and it takes you to this page here and you then want to click on the links up here that say WordPress. If you have a shared hosting account you might have a control panel that looks a bit like this. A lot of uh, hosting providers are using a cheaper version um, than cPanel. If you've got a panel like this then you'll probably find the installation scripts for WordPress down towards the bottom. If I just scroll down here you can see down at the bottom here there's a section that says CGI scripts and you've got WordPress blog there. Either way the procedure from here on is pretty much the same uh, whether you're using Fantastico or something like this. First thing to do is to click here on the icon where it says WordPress blog and just click on there once and then if I choose down here here, scroll down here rather. What I can do is then enter the installation directory. If I was wanting to have it in the main directory then I would simply leave this blank. But I'm going to install this in a subdirectory. So let's call this one blog. You can see it's telling you where it's going to be installed and then click on the button that says install now. and this process can take a moment or two but there we go it has actually installed it and I've done this in real time I haven't paused the video on anything at all so that's that and I can click here the details how to install it and this gives me the information about the basic configuration. It's already installed so click here so now I have to put in the information that we need. Let's call this Sam's blog and pick a username. I'm going to call this admin and then we have the password so just type that in now and again then it needs my email address so we'll just enter that and then click the button here that says allow my site to appear in search engines like Google and Technorati and then click here to install WordPress and there we go it's done again I've done this in real time so we'll click on login type in my username and the password and then click on login and there we go it's now installed as you can see very very simple to do